and down. Whew. 10 to 12 reps of both of those and you guys are going to be burning in your shoulders and your biceps. All right, guys, well, you probably know Mojo. That's my current lab, all right? Now, this was my former lab before I had Mojo. That was Katie many, many years ago. She was very near and dear to my heart. I miss her big time. But Mojo is a blast. Now, guys, weird introduction to this week's workouts, right? I like to change things up a little bit. Now, we're gonna be focusing on upper body twice this week, lower body this twice, twice this week. However, every single workout this week we're going to incorporate something new, supersets. Guys, supersets are a fantastic way to really rev up every single workout and cram a lot of exercises down into a very short, condensed time frame. And of course, that means it's much more efficient. Your workouts won't take that long. Matter of fact, this should take no more than about 30 minutes to do this workout. Um, but also because we're pushing so many exercises into a real small time frame, you're going to get your heart rate up, you're gonna get that lactic acid going, and then of course all those things kind of combine the intensity level that we're gonna be throwing at these workouts. It's gonna send signals to our brain to really ramp up production of all those great hormones that we need, especially as we hit older guys. So guys, I'm gonna step you through how to do all these three different exercises. Now remember, each one is gonna be supersetted with another exercise, and this week, all of our supersets are gonna incorporate arms. So that's either biceps or triceps. So, just real, real quick, superset is just two exercises back to back with no rest. It does not have to be the same muscle group. Matter of fact, a lot of times it's a completely different muscle group. So we're gonna start off with dumbbell push-ups. I'm gonna superset it with alternating dumbbell curls and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the correct form. So why do I have some dumbbells down here on the floor if I'm gonna be doing push-ups? Well, this is a real great way to get even more range of motion when you're doing a push-up. Normally, of course, your hands are flat on the ground and you can only go so deep. But I'm gonna have my hands up here on the handles of these dumbbells and see how the palm of my hand is about a, an extra four inches off the ground. That means I can go four inches deeper. Now that's according to your shoulder mo mobility, guys. So my shoulders are in really good shape. I have no problem going deep, okay? So I want you guys to just listen to your body if, you, if your body allows you, I want you to go as deep as you can get on these push-ups. If it tells you to stop right here, I'm fine. Stop right there. So the other thing is, you probably noticed, I didn't have any reps or sets spelled out on my whiteboard this week. I'm gonna change things up a little bit on you guys. So when it comes to push-ups, I can't just tell you to do 10 push-ups or 20 or 30. Everybody's going to be all over the board, especially when you're doing body weight exercises like a push-up. So this is what I want you guys to do. I want you to figure out what the maximum number of push-ups that you can do without stopping, absolutely no rest, okay? You need to figure that out just one time. That's your personal record, your PR, all right? Then I want you to take 40% of that. And that is how many push-ups I want you to do every time you do a set in this month's workouts. So my personal record is 50 straight push-ups without stopping at all for rest. So 40% of 50 would be 20. So that's how many push-ups I'm gonna do, okay? And then after I do that without any rest, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna grab these exact same dumbbells and I'm gonna be doing alternating dumbbell curls. So that means you need to pick the correct weight dumbbells for you guys to do alternating dumbbell curls and I want you to do about 10 on each arm so you need to figure out what the correct weight is for you guys because I want you to be fatigued and really tired out by the time you get to that 10th rep on each arm okay so this is how to do it guys all right the correct width here all right got my feet together I want to try to keep my back nice and straight and guys I'm gonna to try to go basically all the way down Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, 
six, seven, eight, nineteen, ah, twenty. Okay, no rest, guys. Go straight into alternating curls. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, man. Whew. All right, so supersets are going to get you a little out of breath, guys, because we're working lots of different muscles with absolutely no rest in between. So, got my chest focused with the push-ups, and don't forget, guys, when you're doing push-ups, it's not just your pecs. It's your shoulders, and to a lesser degree, your lats, and your triceps, guys. Lots of different muscles. That's a really good compound exercise. And then, as you can see, no rest, stand up, knock out 10 good alternating curls. Already got a great pump going, it's just the first set. I want you to do three of these, guys. Okay, guys, exercise number two it's going to focus on our back and our triceps. All right, so we're going to be supersetting bent over rows with these dumbbells. Now, guys, your back is a big muscle group, okay? So you can lift a lot of weight. So you need to get as heavy a dumbbells as you guys can get at home. All right, and the form is, of course, going to be you need to keep your back straight, and I want you to have a bend in your knees, and I'm going to be grabbing the dumbbells and I'm going to be looking forward and I'm just going to be pulling my elbows up. So that's the, that's the feeling or the mind-muscle connection I want you guys to have. So don't worry so much about lifting the dumbbells. Focus on getting that elbow back and up like this, okay? So I don't, you don't come out to the side. Your elbows are going to come back towards your hip and you're going to have a nice slow controlled motion because Probably most of you guys are not going to have real heavy dumbbells at home. Not heavy enough to tire you out after about 10 to 12 reps. So, you need to pick the heaviest dumbbells you can. And then to make them feel heavier, I want you to use real slow, controlled tempo. And then at the top, I want you to squeeze it and hold it for one to two seconds before you slowly let the dumbbells back down. That will make the exercise and the weight feel much heavier than it really is. And then of course, after 10 to 12 reps of that, with no rest, we're gonna go straight over to our band, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do the form in a minute while I'm actually demonstrating the superset, but basically I'm gonna be standing on the band and I'm gonna have my handles together behind my back, okay? And I'm gonna be pressing straight up overhead with the handles together. And I want to try to keep my elbows still, basically in one motion, and just move my hands up and down. So this is not a military press. See, I don't want my elbows going up and down like that. I don't want to focus on my shoulders. I want to keep my elbows in one location and just try to press those handles, attach to those bands straight up over my head, and that will focus on my tricep. All right, so guys, follow along. And then, the other thing is, guys, you need to experiment real quick with what color band, what resistance bands you're going to use. And because I'm going to be standing on it and the handles are going to be starting here, it's going to be stretched out and it's already going to have a fair amount of resistance or tension because it's stretched. So you can't use a lot of resistance in this, guys, with these bands. Just experiment, figure out what's right for you, then write that color down so you don't have to remember next week when we do it all over again. All right, so let's start off with some bent over dumbbell rows, guys. Ugh. All right, so the key is, all right, so I want to stick my butt out, okay? Hinge, and see how my knees are bent, and I'm looking forward. I'm not looking down, I want to look forward. And then your hands don't have to go much deeper than your knees, okay? So I'm just gonna, four, five, Six, seven, hold, eight, hold, 
nine hold, ten hold, eleven, twelve. Okay, straight over to the bands, guys. You don't have a have to rush, but don't don't go real slow. Okay, get them here. I like to have a slight bend in my knees. Okay, and I'm just gonna be pressing these handles up over my head. I'm trying to keep my elbows relatively still, okay? In one location. I want you to pick a resistance that's gonna to be tough to do, about 10 to 12 reps. And guys, this feels ah, a little awkward. So you gotta practice it to get the coordination and the mind-muscle connection it takes. But after you do this, just one or two sets, you're gonna really get the hang of it, guys. So try to keep those elbows relatively forward, okay? They're gonna flare out some. And then keep them still. And then did you see how slow I was controlling the handles up and down? So don't, don't yank them up and don't let them snap back down. So I want you to do 10 to 12 reps of both of those exercises. No rest in between them, all right? Now, I'm out of breath, partly because I'm talking to you. I want you to catch your breath, okay? 60, 90 seconds max. Then I want you to do this superset all over again two more times. I want you to do three sets of this superset exercise. Okay, so the last exercise today are dumbbell lateral raises, and we're gonna superset those with hammer curls. So guys, I'm just gonna go through real quick, all right, a typical set here. I want you to knock out about 10 to 12 reps, once again, of both exercises with no rest in between. Now the lateral raises, guys, You'll notice I have a bend in my elbows, okay? Do not do this with your arms straight. You'll also notice that the bend stays consistent throughout the entire range of motion. And then the other thing is, see how I'm controlling the dumbbells up and down? I'm not swinging them up. I see guys do this all the time at the gym. All right, I want you to really focus on trying to keep your torso nice and still as you lift those dumbbells up, okay? 10 to 12 reps, you should be burning and straight in to two arm hammer curls. So guys, another 10 to 12 reps. I didn't even have to change weight, guys. I'm using the exact same weight on both exercises. I don't care, you guys may need to change it. You're gonna have to figure out what's the correct weight for you guys to use, but See how I'm controlling these dumbbells up and down? I'm not swinging them up like this. You could do this all day long, guys. All right? So, and down. Whew, 10 to 12 reps of both of those. And you guys are gonna be burning in your shoulders and your biceps. Okay, guys, a great, very compact, total upper body workout today. We hit chest, shoulders, back, biceps, and triceps. Did everything. You should be able to knock this whole thing out in about 30 to 35 minutes max. I want you to do three sets of all these different superset exercises, okay? That's a total of nine sets in all. And then when you think about it, we are always doing an extra superset of our arms. So it's really almost like doing 18 sets in 30 minutes, guys fantastic way to be super efficient with your time get in a great workout a great pump and guys remember this is not going to happen overnight right you have to stick with it and never give up on yourself